In the first video about electrostatics, we will speak about methods of electrification. To begin with, let me tell you about electrostatics or static electricity. Even further, let me show you electrostatics in action. Now I'm walking across the rod. You see the metallic knob of the door? I'm about to touch it. The effect that you have seen is due to electrostatics. An understanding of electrostatics requires knowledge about the nature of matter. The matter is made of atoms. An atom is made up of a nucleus surrounded by electrons. The nucleus is composed of protons and neutrons. The three particles, electrons, protons, and neutrons, are characterized by different properties like their electric charge. By convention, protons are positively charged, electrons are negatively charged, and neutrons have no charge. In most atoms, there are as many electrons as protons, so there is no net charge. That's why most objects around us are non-electrified. When there is an imbalance in the number of protons and electrons, the object is electrically charged or electrified. The imbalance comes about by adding or removing electrons, as protons are bound very tightly inside the nucleus. If the object gains electrons, it becomes negatively charged. If it loses electrons, it becomes positively charged. The old saying that opposites attract also applies to electric charges. Two objects of the same sign of charge repel and two of opposite sign of charge attract. Could you kindly sum up what we have learned until now? In nature most objects are electrically neutral. Matter can carry two types of charges positive and negative. Electric charges build up when electrons move from one body to another. Only electrons can move from one body to another. Like charges repel and unlike charges attract. The electric charge is a property of matter that cannot be observed by the naked eye. That's why we need instruments that enable us to check whether an object is electrified or not. First, the electroscope. The electroscope is formed of a metallic stem that is capped with a metal knob. Its lower end carries two very light and mobile metallic leaves. The leaves and the lower part of the stem are inside a glass jar. When a non-electrified ruler is brought near the knob of the electroscope, the metallic leaves don't diverge. The leaves diverge when the ruler is electrified. Another device that we use to detect electrified objects is the electrostatic pendulum. The electrostatic pendulum is formed of a small, light, aluminum-coated ball. The ball is suspended from a stand by a light string. A non-electrified object is placed in the vicinity of the ball, it doesn't attract it. If the object is electrified, it attracts the ball. So, by placing an object near the electroscope or the electrostatic pendulum, we can check if it is electrified or not. But how can we electrify objects? We will study about three methods of electrification. Electrification by friction, electrification by contact, and electrification by induction. I'll send you a link to a Padlet where you will share your information about the methods of electrification after you explore them. I will speak about electrification by friction. I rub the balloon against my hair. The balloon becomes electrified by friction. Some electrons are transferred between the balloon and my hair. The balloon is attracted to the wall indicating that the balloon has electrified. I studied electrification by contact. I put the rubbed end of an electrified ruler in contact with the ball of the electrostatic pendulum. The ruler repels the ball indicating that the electrostatic pendulum has electrified by placing it in contact with the electrified ruler. Last but not least, electrification by induction, also known as electrification by influence. We place an electrified glass rod near the nose of the electroscope without touching it. 
we observe that the leaves of the electroscope diverge. That indicates that the electroscope itself becomes electrified by influence of the electrified glass rod. Great work students, we reached the end of our meeting. Now you can explain what happened to me when I touched the door based on your knowledge of methods of electrification.